I've been getting a lot of messages and tweets for a while now with people asking me what I think of the Cliven Bundy ranch situation. And uh, I haven't commented yet because in all seriousness, I don't think it's an interesting issue. I don't. I think a guy is using federal land to let his animals graze. He was taken to court multiple times. The court said he either needs to remove his animals or pay the government. He hasn't done that. Every other rancher pays. He doesn't. And now right-wing media blew up the situation to the point where he's some kind of victim. They're portraying him as a victim. No, he's not a victim. He's a moocher. And then also, might I add, he had thugs with guns come to his ranch to threaten federal officials who were doing their job in removing the cattle. Also, would we really be debating this if it was the Black Panthers or a group of communists? Imagine a group of communists showed up to threaten the feds with guns. Would it be a debatable issue? No, people would call them terrorists and they would be totally rebuked and uh, fringe morons, crazy people, right? You know, that uh, unpatriotic bastards who are trying to overthrow the U.S. government, that's how they'd be portrayed. But for whatever reason, when it's a right-wing guy, oh, now they're supposedly extra patriotic. I mean, how silly is this conversation that we're having? But uh, I wanted to talk about it today because uh, I think the story broke today that really says something about the intelligence level of the guy that we're dealing with, Clavin Bundy. So he said in an interview, quote, I want to tell you one more thing I know about the Negro. He said, speaking about public housing. And in front of that government house, the door was usually open and the older people and the kids and there is always at least half a dozen people sitting on the porch. They didn't have nothing to do. They didn't have nothing for their kids to do. They didn't have nothing for their young girls to do. And because they were basically on government subsidy, so now what do they do? They abort their young children, they, leave, they put their young men in jail because they never learned how to pick cotton. And I've often wondered, are they better off as slaves picking cotton and having a family life and doing these things? Or are they better off under a government subsidy? They didn't get no more freedom, they got less freedom. Mm, yeehaw, good point there, Clavin, Clavin Bundy. But it's okay, because uh, when he had the opportunity to amend his comments and explain what he really meant, he, he made clear, look, it's all a misunderstanding. Well, Mr. Bundy, let me take the last couple minutes to give you a chance to respond to the New York Times today, which this morning uh, published a story about you in which they were quoting from a statement you made, I guess, to a might have been an impromptu press conference, and now the the theme across the internet is Cliven Bundy is a racist because he thinks blacks were better off under slavery. Do you want to clarify those remarks? Uh, yes, and uh, you know if, if what I said, I'm wondering, and and you know I know Glenn Beck, he uh, has something on the internet or news, and and he he uses the, the word I'm wondering, and when they come to me, I said that's exactly what I said. I said I'm wondering if they're better off uh, under government subsidy and their uh, young women are, are uh, having abortions and their young men are in jail and their older women and their children are standing, uh, sitting out on the cement porch uh, without nothing to do. Uh, you know, I'm wondering, are they happier now under this government subsidy system than they were when they were slaves and they was able to have their family structure together and the chickens and the garden and uh, the, the, the people had something to do. I'm just wondering if blacks should be slaves. That's all I'm just wondering. I'm just thinking about maybe they'd be better off as slaves. What's the big deal? He doesn't even think, he doesn't think it's controversial. He doesn't think it's stupid. He thinks it's like an obvious, like, well, duh, obviously. I mean, look, I mean, shouldn't blacks continue to be slaves? I mean, look at the situation they're in now. I mean, pfft, wouldn't they be better off picking cotton and listening to me, their master? Somebody made a great point earlier on Twitter. Um, he said, here's Cliven saying that black people are lazy and they're just getting their government check. But he's asking, well, shouldn't there be a slave system back in place then? 
But wait, wouldn't that then make the white people lazy? Wouldn't that make you lazy, Cliven? Because you're saying you want the black people to do all the work for you and you to be their master. So you're the lazy one. They're not lazy, you're lazy. So why are you trying to couch this in terms like, oh, I'm just looking out for them, the best for them. I'm just wondering out loud, aren't they better off as slaves picking cotton? Isn't that their spot? Do, why it, these the, you know these uppity Negroes who wanted their freedom and everything? Uh, they uh, boy were they wrong, weren't they? <laughs> racist as can be. See, you know what's it, what's hilarious to me is that the modern day racists, like you know Rush Limbaugh, people like that, what they've done essentially is that they've rewritten history to cover up their racism. So what they so what Rush will do, for example, is say. Like, oh, Martin Luther King Jr., he was a Republican. He was on our side. These Democrats, the Democrats were the racist ones. It was the conservatives who always fought to, you know, fought for civil rights and everything. So he flips history where he says, and we all know he's racist, but he pretends. Like, he plays this game where he's like, no, no, Martin Luther King Jr. was on our side, and we love black people. Cliven Bundy hasn't even caught up to the new style of racism. He's still sucking like, if you brought up Martin Luther King Jr., he'd be like, fuck that guy. <laughs> he wouldn't even try to pretend like, oh, no, he was on our side. He'd be like, oh, that guy, he's black. Fuck him. Well, he's probably a lazy guy on government subsidies. And also, for the record, man, white people use welfare more than black people. That is a fact. And uh, also, the disproportionate jailing of African Americans is due to drug crimes. And white people and black people actually use drugs at the same rate as the study has shown, but black people get arrested for it four times more often. So the idea that we're really dealing with a segment of society here that's just inherently more dangerous or more criminal. Like, it's in, it comes with the package of having black skin. Like, sorry, you're just going to want to fuck people up more. You're just going to be a worse person. You're just going to be inherently violent. It is beyond ridiculous. But he's such a fucking simpleton. He's such a simpleton. He can't look any deeper than just what his, you know, visceral beliefs are. Uh, I think blacks are lazy, so I guess they're lazy. Really, Cliven? Would you say that the people on Wall Street who took massive bailouts when they bankrupted their companies, are they lazy? Are they lazy? Oh, just because they're white and they wear suits and ties, they're not lazy? How does this work exactly? And these are people who crashed the economy, bankrupted their companies, and then they got bailout money and took bonuses! They took bonuses! I don't know why you're angry at black people. What, you're going to be really angry at a, a black family that takes $1.30 per meal to feed their fucking kids as opposed to being mad at the guys on Wall Street who took billions of dollars? Corporate welfare is a much bigger percentage of the budget than actual welfare. You know, but he, he's got no clue. To fuck. I don't know why I'm trying to reason with this guy. You know, if he took a look at the discretionary spending chart, what is it, 57%? goes to military spending, that's all to uh, for-profit defense contractors who just waste billions of dollars and put it directly in their pockets and all the corruption and fraud. Is he mad at those people? Is he mad at, you know, are those the welfare queens he's talking about? Wall Street the welfare queens? How about ExxonMobil? They get a $4 billion subsidy every single fucking year. And uh, for what? For research and development. Meanwhile, they're already one of the most profitable corporations in the world. So you're telling me you need an incentive to do research and development? Isn't being the most profitable corporation in the world, or one of them, incentive enough? Why do you need middle-class taxpayer dollars? But he's got nothing to say about that. Nothing to say about the giant subsidy that goes to Walmart. Nothing to say about the, you know, any of the other corporate subsidies, the big bank subsidies. What is it, $80 billion a year? But, oh, the blacks. Point your finger at the blacks and say, oh, look at these guys, man. Look at these guys. They're lazy moochers. They don't want to pay their fair share. You know, it's almost like these uh, black people who are m moochers. It's almost like, I don't know, they let their animals graze on federal land for uh, years and they never paid uh, what they owed. You know, kind of like he's doing. <laughs>